Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to create the small, two-channel ESP Home Automation Module. This device has two relay, and it can be controlled by any Android device, using an app named, by Link. Moreover, this device doesn't require any external power supply module. It can be directly powered by 220 volts AC. To make the device small and compact, I have ordered this PCB board from PCBWay. Well, PCBWay is the sponsor of this video. You can order high quality PCB boards from them at a reasonable price. Just visit PCBWay.com and simply upload the Garber file and place the order. Now, let's see what other components are required to create this device. Now, I'll start soldering the components. At first, I'll solder the 3.3 volt voltage regulator. Unfortunately, I don't have any soldering hot air gun, and my old one is not working. So, I have to work with soldering iron. After soldering the voltage regulator, I will solder the diodes. After soldering the SMD components, I will solder the transistors and the capacitor. After soldering the transistors and capacitor, I'll solder the female header pin for ESP module. Now, I'll solder the IC base for the ATtiny85 microcontroller IC. After soldering the IC base for ATtiny85, I'll solder the relays and the screw terminal.
Finally, I will solder the header pins to the power supply module, and then I will solder the power supply module to the PCB board. Now, I will program the ESP module and AT Tiny 85 microcontroller. I'm using the ESP programmer to program the ESP module. And yes, IO0 pin of the ESP module has to be connected with the ground pin while connecting to the computer. So, I added a button on the ESP programmer, which allows me to connect the IO0 pin to the ground pin. And, I'm using Arduino Nano to program the AT Tiny 85. At first, I'll program the ESP module. But, Arduino software doesn't have any ESP board installed in it. So, to install the ESP board to the Arduino software, I'll copy the board URL of ESP boards. Then I'll paste the link on the additional boards manager URL section of Arduino software and install the ESP board. I'm using an example named ESP Standalone from BiLink Library. Now, I'll put the auth token, Wi-Fi name and my Wi-Fi password. The auth token can be found on my link app. Now, I'll upload the code to ATtiny85. And yes, Arduino software doesn't have any option for ATtiny ICs. So, the method that I have applied for installing ESP boards, it also can be applied for installing the ATtiny ICs. Now, I'll test the device if it works or not. And yes, be careful while working with AC current. I am using two AC bulbs and an input current of 220 volts AC for testing. After connecting everything, it's time to set the BiLink app. This app can be installed from Play Store. Now, I'll create a new project. After creating a new project, an auth token will be sent to the registered email. Now, I'll add two style button to control the output and set the GPIO0 and GPIO2 as output. Everything is done. Now, it's time to test the device.
everything is working perfectly. This device can be used in our daily life, and I think everyone should have one of these. That's all for now. Thank you for watching. Stay innovative.